Hey there beautiful people, I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be talking Netflix, uh, Netflix Sex Life, the series. I enjoyed that series and I have a few lessons which I took away from it and I think many of you will benefit from it and if you don't, well, and if you think, uh, oh by the way, this is not a relationship advice or whatever i am not an expert if you think you need help go and see an expert if you need to go and divorce and you're projected come to our offices i'm joking <laughs> but yeah uh if you need if you need help go seek professional help and there is help for everything out there so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on with today's video <music> I'm having Milo. I actually just got back from work. It's just before 5.30. I came back early today. Uh, so, yeah. Let's talk about Netflix Sex Life. If you've not watched this series, I think there'll be spoilers. So, might be wise to actually go and watch it first. But yeah, spoiler alert. So, there's this couple great couple living in the suburbs every living the not just the american dream but everyone who's married and dating wants to leave maybe the wants to leave the city life wants to wants to move out of the city wants to move out of here in our case here in south africa most of us wants to move out from the townships from the rural areas to the suburbs where life is easy life is and the ordinary lifestyle in the suburbs in the not just in south africa but everywhere is basically a life with a husband a loving husband who sleeps at home every day a wife two children three or four but it's basically that perfect life every every person who wants a a family not every person but most people who want families who wants this uh ordinary family their vision is usually drawn from that some are different but most of the time it's from that monogamous couples monogamous people their ideology like you could uh, like the very few would say i want 10 children and and my wife most of them two children uh, my husband live in the city away from everything that we grew up around live a, a great life with my husband working a nice job uh happy bringing in all the all the bacon and us living soft but what happens when the past comes back lessons lessons that i learned from sex life one marriages in marriages or relationships um don't settle Yes, it's nice. Comfort is nice, like it, but it gets boring. Routine gets boring. To know that your partner is this and that and that brings home the bacon, comes back home, does this and that. That's it. It gets boring. Don't settle for that. That's number one. Number two. Don't let go of yourself. Like that's what Billy did, and that's the mistake that she, that most, especially women, do. They let go of who they are because being a wife and being a being a wife and being a a, a, a mother becomes the new identity that they forget that Yena she was a wild girl she was she liked this and that and that but she let go of all of that because it was nice being married don't do that let me give you a background story um, not a background story but my observation. I work in a firm that does a lot of family law matters. By family law, I mean mostly divorce matters and maintenance, all of those things that do with family. And one trait that I've noticed, especially with, well, we usually do with black, uh, black couples. Black couples, with the guy, first marriage, like most of the time in their first marriage, they settle with somebody who is the ideal wife material the the woman that they used to see when they were growing up with their mothers the woman that knows how to cook how to clean but not their ideal partner that they want to take um to the bride with the gents with not the partner that they want to take 
uh, to watch like a partner that likes the same things as them most of the time it's people that don't even like the same things as them but because they possess all the traits and all the things that they saw in their mothers or they saw in their ideal families they settle with those people in their first marriages uh when that happens five years down the line they realize hi i cannot stay with such and when that happens usually it's a divorce or they just cheat on their partners get into a relationship with somebody else and live their best life neglecting the wife that they brought home settling for females on the other hand is usually settling for the ordinary the, the ideal husband the guy that you know will never cheat on you the guy you know will always be home at night the guy that will be uh boring that's the guy you settle with knowing yourself that you actually don't like that but you want the security because that's the guy that wants to get married most of the time so you settle for that you get bored most likely cheat or be miserable for the rest of your uh marriage life here's what i can assure you if you think that your relationship with the partner that you like and enjoy and have fun with might not might fail i got news for you the relationship with a partner that's boring not the ideal person that you that brings the best out of you might also fail so rather fail at a relationship that that you enjoy that she's that you can look back to and say this was the best time of my life i really enjoyed this and i was like my best self didn't have to lie about who i am most of you guys lie about what you like and it shows it's unfortunate letting go that's what i learned in guys don't let go like cooper was a boring guy boring guy knew what he wanted in life and he got what he wanted on the other hand billy she let go of that because she wanted to fit in the picture of cooper don't let go of what you want like that's just that's just me mina yes as we tell never let go of the things that i want. do you lose yourself and you become miserable you continually lie to yourself and at some point it's going to show up it's probably going to show up with you walking out of that horrible marriage it's going to show up with you cheating with the ideal partner that you want it's going to show up with you fantasizing about a partner and a life that you had before settling for whatever it is that you settle for because like it just breaks my heart isn't it just for shut okay and on the note of letting go i think you guys need to remember that you always go back home to yourself yes you could put on the front for first 10 years of your marriage of you liking the boring guy liking the boring female partner liking the girl that looks like your mom that does everything like how your mom did but one day you'll come back to yourself. You'll come back to your senses where you realize that I actually like that beautiful girl that, that, uh, 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 that brings out the best out of me. I like that beautiful guy that brings out the best out of me. Yes, it's not the ideal, ordinary partner that anyone would hope I settle with, but this is what I want. And if you settle as a female, especially females, females settle, get married with the per first person that asks them to get married just because they say, they feel or think, maybe no one else will ever ask me to get married. Uh, if I did that, I would be married and a pastor's wife. Mm, imagine. Your dream partner, like I think this wraps up everything that I just said, but your dream partner should include all, all parts of you. If you are somebody who's fun, adventurous, loud, you should be able to be that with your partner. Yes, maybe if you guys are in certain events, you have to tone down and be, obviously, be unkoskazi, especially for us, botakis, you can't come around jumping to your partner. But when you guys are alone, you have to be able to do that. When you guys are in your best life, you have to be that. And if you're just going to settle, if you like love, being loved loudly, your ideal partner, your life partner, your husband should be able to do that with you. 
if you like being um whatever it is your ideal partner should be all of that if you like a monogamous partner though everyone now says everyone is polygamous which i still think is not true if you like that follow it like your ideal partner is out there and you have to ask yourself when before you settle i think before you settle, you have to ask yourself do i want to come back to to this am i actually in love with this person or i am just self uh people pleasing i'm just lying to myself because if you lie to yourself about what you like and how you like your partner you're basically just pleasing and pushing the the narrative of Wuti or oh, partner should be this partner should be that and you you constantly lie to yourself and lying to yourself would be the death of you you'd be miserable and always think that no marriage is just for i heard somebody says marriage is just good for the kids it's just something that's uh ideal for having a family i beg to differ i think marriages can be something great for you partners because first of all marriages is the only it's, it's the final legal contract that you could ever put into your relationship it allows you to be a partner in so many ways unfortunately so if you're just going to be getting married just for the kids i got news for you you're doing it wrong if you're just going to be getting married because you're doing it wrong you should be able to take your wife everywhere that you go you should be able to be comfortable with taking your wife because she's everything that you've ever dreamed of like guys and gam stop settling for for less like not just females but with guys as well like a lot of guys that i know settle for partners that they don't like settle for partners that want to get married at that certain time settle for partners that want to a family at that particular time forgetting that you're not gonna want to raise kids for you're not going to be raising kids at excuse me you're not going to be raising kids when they are 34 when they are 24 that's why most people in marriages will say i spent 24 uh 20 years of our lives together we spent 20 years of our lives together and he just woke up and said he doesn't love me anymore he always just didn't love he loves you but he just doesn't think he wants to stay with the rest of your life and he's just doing it for raising the family doing it for the business partnership doing it for and if that's the only thing that you guys connect with that's those are the only ways that you guys connect in uh, i have news for you probably your partner is cheating on you or he's going to leave you or she's going to leave you anytime soon or she just hates if who doesn't cheat they just hate it every time you guys are having relations that's why probably you're only getting it once a week now yeah <laughs> if you're going to settle for somebody just because of funuk ah uh, your life is not gonna be the greatest for the rest of it but you will be married <laughs> you will have the ideal house you will have the ideal husband probably bringing, bringing in all the bacon and all of that but you'll be miserable so don't settle on that note i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you on my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please Sanuk said Kilisha man. Musani like stop it!